Little wins, right? Yeah. I did it, and there's Tom. Secret play. Welcome to Retired Time Productions. So we're going to be doing some latency testing here, and the object is to find out if the RunCam 2 is as fast as they say it is for FPV. So what we're going to do is compare it first with this board camera. So I'll start out with the PZ0420 board camera. This is a CCD board camera. And then we'll move into these CMOS cameras. So I'm going to compare the run cam first and then go to the Mobius right here and then try the new BidEye camera right here and then the Foxeer Legend 1. Okay, so here is my basic method. I've got the scope running here and what I do is sit the camera right here, aim it at the oscilloscope and then compare the trace on the monitor to what I have on the oscilloscope. Now I've got the oscilloscope synced to the AC line right over here with the scope probe right here. So that's what you're seeing here. This is the AC line. The scope is synced to that at 60 Hertz. So that's what this monitor runs at, 60 Hertz. And so that ought to keep everything synchronized. Okay, here we are but with uh, 10 milliseconds per division looking at the PZ0420 camera. So that's 10 milliseconds for each of the 10 divisions on the screen. So if you look at the two arrows you can see they're about 2.4 divisions apart for 24 milliseconds. This is the RunCam 2 at 1080p 30 frames a second and the scope is set to 10 milliseconds per division. So the two arrows are about 4.8 divisions apart this time for 48 milliseconds. Runcam 2 at 1080p 60 frames a second scope on 10 milliseconds per division. This time the arrows are 4.5 divisions apart 45 milliseconds. Runcam 2 at 720p, 120 frames per second, scope on 10 milliseconds per division. So the arrows are 2.6 divisions apart, times 10 is 26 milliseconds. Run cam 2 at 720p, 120 frames per second, and the scope is set to 5 milliseconds per division this time. That's 5 milliseconds per division. So we have 5.2 divisions at 5 milliseconds, that's 26 milliseconds. So this is the Mobius camera and it has quite a bit of delay so I had to change the time division on the scope to be 20 milliseconds per division on the screen. So that's 20 milliseconds for each of the 10 divisions. So we have 6.4 divisions at 20 milliseconds for 128 milliseconds. Here is the BidEye camera at 1080p, 30 frames a second, and the scope is set on 10 milliseconds. So 5.4 times 10 is 54 milliseconds. So this is the Foxeer Legend 1, and I had to set the divisions on the scope to 20 milliseconds per division because it's just so slow. The camera is slow. So um, we have the Foxeer Legend 1 set at 1080p, 60 frames a second, and the scope is on 20 milliseconds per division. So 20 milliseconds per division, 3.8 times that, 76 milliseconds. So this is the Foxeer Legend 1. It's at 720p, 120 frames per second, and the scope is still on 20 milliseconds per division because the legend is kind of slow. Now I'm having trouble seeing the grid lines on the scope. I guess at 720p it just doesn't pick up the light as good. I don't know why. Alright, I'm going to try to illuminate the scope a little with this lamp. Maybe we can see more of the grid, the grid divisions. See if that helps any. Okay, so the best I can do is I think it's around 68 milliseconds, but the reflections were terrible. So here's the results, and you can look down the list and see what they are. You can always take it with a grain of salt. It isn't perfect. So I think these results of the testing will give you some idea how these cameras relate to each other as far as latency. They aren't perfectly accurate, and that's due to the fact that there is some problems with the camera and the monitor. 
Both of these items have a delay built into them. Now I've tried to uh, sync the monitor to the scope to get rid of that problem, but the camera itself only takes a frame every 1 60th of a second. That's not really fast enough, so that gives us an error of about 16.7 milliseconds. And that could add up with these small measurements that we're taking on these cameras. So you can take the results with a grain of salt if you want, but I'm just showing you what I got, and you can use it to your advantage. Keep your light.